everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favour and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we have an Hermes unboxing to do. So I've picked up a few things um, when I was in store last time and there were a couple of things that they didn't have that my sales associate managed to get me just after my appointment. So my sales associate was kind enough to do that through a remote payment link and then they queried the items out to me. I do know that that is a service that they used heavily during COVID um, and then post COVID you can do that for some things but not for other, others. I know with certainty bags cannot be purchased remotely through your sales associate. Of course you can get them online if you're lucky enough to have a bag that you love come up online on the rare occasion that happens. Um, but yes, if you want to do a remote payment through your store directly, you cannot in Australia at the very least get a um, bag done through remote payment and send it out to you. You have to actually go into store to pick bags up, quote a bag or not, doesn't matter. It, it cannot be done with bags. But with other items, they will do it for you. Um, I think it also depends on the amount that you're buying. So I, if you just bought, you know, like an item that is $700, which is still a lot of money. $700 is a lot of money, but I don't think that they would necessarily courier that out to you. They might overnight it, but these were couriered out. Long story. Anyway, <laughs> let's open some of these boxes. So first one is a very big orange box. And I haven't seen any 2023 ribbon yet, and I collect one piece of ribbon from Hermes every year with the year on it and I go back I don't know four or five years now and I haven't seen any 2023 ribbon yet we we were still using 2022 ribbon five minutes ago and now it's got no year on it where's my 2023 ribbon Hermes okay in this first box we have oh, without dropping everything a tea set well it's not a tea set there two sauces and two teacups. Now this is my china pattern from um, Hermes. It is the, Mose I think it's called mosaic. It's like the platinum one. So they also do this in a gold. Um, and I've got plates and platters from this um, set and I put all my perfumes on them in my bedroom. So that's how I use them. I don't use them as everyday plates. These are the breakfast cups. So you can see they are quite big. I want the mugs as well. They didn't have the mugs, but they did have the breakfast um, uh, cups in store. So these are obviously, oh, I want to be really careful with this. These are obviously bigger than a standard size teacup and they can just sit in the saucer like that. So I'm not a standard size teacup kind of person. Like a standard size teacup for me is a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I need more than that in my in my tea and coffee. I need a fair bit of caffeine to get me through. Um, so the breakfast ones are fantastic. I think they're really beautiful to use. I do want the mugs as well when the mugs come in, but I really love this. So look at this pattern. Look how beautiful that is. So these are not... Look, my sales associate said to me, if you want to put them through the dishwasher, you can, but they will eventually lose their shine. So they are dishwasher safe. Would I put them through my dishwasher? No, absolutely not. These will be hand washed. So I just think they're beautiful and I love the size. I'm not getting normal size teacups. I have a collection of um, very um, old vintage I guess they'd be antiques now, um, teacups from my grandmother. I inherited from my grandmother. She had a china cabinet full of them and she had like the teacup, the saucer and the matching side plate and she had sets of them. Um, and I inherited all of them and they are beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, I have them in cupboards. My husband is like, can we use them? No. <laughs> So if we can't use them, what happens to them? They just sit in the cupboard. We, we inherited them. We keep them. So I don't use them, but they're beautiful, beautiful pieces to look at. And maybe one day my children will look at these um, in a similar way. Um, but I have no need to collect any more beautiful tiny teacups because I have many um, antique ones. Um, but a really usable, hearty, um, almost mug style. 
right up my alley for some tea and coffee. So that was the first thing that I got. And they do come in a set of two. So there is two mugs and two um, uh, sauces. <laughs> I'll get there in a minute. Two sauces in this set. Um, and yeah, so I managed to get those ones and I will continue to hunt the mugs um, in the same set. Um, all right, next box is this one. And... Oh, nice flat one. Open it up. Random piece of paper. And we have a silk packing cube. So I love packing cubes. Love them. I love toiletry pouches. I love packing cubes. I love cosmetic pouches. I love anything that is um, an organization tool because I am an incredibly, incredibly organized person. So I have many packing cubes. I've got some fantastic ones from Amazon I got for my upcoming trip and I'm going to do a whole Amazon travel haul at some point with all the things that I have bought for this trip because I am a heavily influenced person. And when I see it, I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. I'll buy that. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll buy that. So I've bought so many things for this upcoming trip, um, including packing cubes from that. I have Louis Vuitton packing cubes. Um, and this one from Hermes, I really loved because it's silk. So sometimes you have delicate items and I imagine I will be taking a, several of my scarves when I go overseas later in the year because it's going to be coming out of summer and just um, into fall or in fall. Yeah, they'll be in the middle of fall, coming into winter when we go. Um, so I like the silk packing cube because it is silk and will be kind on my other silks that I want to pack into it. So it's a fair size. It's a pretty good size. I think I can probably get three or four scarves in this to travel with. It is made in France. Got a little Hermes tab there in leather. Um, and it just zips up. So packing cubes are great. And this one, um, because it is silk, it's got absolutely no structure to it whatsoever when it's empty. Um, but it will be great. And they do these in a um, black graphite color as well from the men's range. Um, and this is the only size they had, I think, that they do in this color. So it's like a, a deep, deep maroon burgundy color. But yes, I got the silk one because I thought silk would be good um, for just those delicate items that you don't just want to throw in a random packing cube that you want to be just a little bit careful with. So that is the second item I got. And then the third one whoop, comes in this box, <laughs> which some people might recognize because this is a fairly well-known style of box from Hermes. If we open it up, we have two. <laughs> dust bags which tells you what's in it <laughs> so let's get them out and dale from dale's addiction is gonna hate these <laughs> and i plan to take them on our holiday so that's just tough <laughs> i love them so let's get them out <laughs> we have the i think it's pronounced ship sandals never really sure on that in this brown suede <laughs> and shirling finish. I love these. I think they're great. I've got a full shirling set um, pair of these, which I love. They sometimes border on a bit too much like slippers to me. Like sometimes I'll put them on and go, people are gonna think I'm wearing my slippers out of, my, out of the house. Um, these ones, because they've got the um, suede finish on top i think i can probably get away with a bit better and i'm currently on the hunt for a full leather pair of these types of sandals as well because they're really comfortable super super comfortable so connor from the closet recently went to paris and he got a pair of birkenstock ones that are very similar to this in shirling with a suede finish on top and i was like oh i really like them maybe i'll get a pair um and then i talked to my sales associate at hermes because i knew they did something very similar and he didn't have them. They were nowhere to be seen. And then a couple of days later, he rang me and said, what about these? And he sent me a picture of these and I'm like, that's it. That's the ones I want. <laughs> so <laughs> these are probably going to be my travel shoes. That's what I'll probably wear on the plane when I go away. Um, and to be fair in Australia, a lot of people go, well, you know, um, what use are shirling open sandals? I mean, really? Because 
in most places it gets so cold that you would be stupid to be wearing open-toed sandals in Australia we do winter we do um, and at the moment it's starting to get cold so it's like 10 degrees Celsius like it gets cool but there is no point in the year that I go, I can't wear thongs. I can't wear open-toed sandals or I won't. I, it is never so cold you're going to lose a toe over it. So in reality, these are pretty much winter thongs for, for me. Um, and I'm fine with that. So I am happy to have these. I think they're going to be great to travel in. They'll be comfortable. Um, they will walk the fine line between walk too warm and too cold. Um, they're slip on. So at um, airport security, if you're asked to take your shoes off, no worries. I can slip them off. So yes, I believe these are going to be my travel um, sandals. And I believe Dale from Dale's Diction are going to hate them. <laughs> He's going to hate them because she already doesn't like her mez and she's really going to hate these. <laughs> So that's fine. She will be happy that I'm happy. <laughs> um, so yes, they're my pair of shoes that I got. I would seriously have these in many colors. I love them so much. And they're a great pair of shoes. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually three times a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life and also how I style these fun things. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.